Hey guys, Judy Seeger here, and a lot of you guys have been in my ozone therapy webinar and the masterclass and whatnot, and there's been a lot of questions about setup. Everybody's nervous about setup. So I'm going to go over some basic stuff for you guys uh, to show you that, you know, if you put your blender on and, and take it apart to clean it or your juicer, or your toaster over, I'm looking at my stuff in my kitchen, you could do this, it's not that hard, um, but I wanna go through that. And then those of you, we have 10 people in the group who have actually stepped forward and purchased. And so those guys, um, for sure, making this for you especially. Love you guys. So first off, just so you know, the intel the, um, of what's going on in the in the ozone manufacturing world with the ozone generator i have two manufacturers that i'm working with and the reason is is because um sometimes one has time and they're not on vacation or they're on vacation or they're not and and they can't always keep up and so i needed to have a backup so this particular unit this looks like a little briefcase right it's kind of it's kind of cool I, I like it because it's just um a hard case I've, I've had I've had this um, seven years long time and it's just it still looks like it's brand new it's a really nice um, case and I just like being able to carry it around put everything in there um, but the other one is going to look a little different so those of you guys who decide to move forward and like to order more uh, or order now um, you will um, see it looks a little bit different in fact I can show you a box yeah so yeah, yeah, so it's going to be, yeah, with still Aquastar, uh, <laughs> I like that, in and out, <laughs> keep up with me now, um, Aqua Tristar um, is the name of mine, um, but it's just a good quality, and I checked around, I, I have some really cool stuff for you guys, I'm going to open this up while I'm talking, really cool stuff going on, I, I'm interviewing uh, my good friends who are ozone docs, who are way smarter than me when it comes to ozone, been getting great results all the way from Mexico to Malaysia to Africa, and these guys are hardcore, really brilliant when it comes to ozone, and they're my friends, and they're going to be your friends. <laughs> so I'm doing interviews with them now, they're really super hard to catch hold of because they're trying to make a movement um the ozone uh, docs uh what is it called ozone docs without borders like doctors without borders but it's ozone you will be like blown away how much success they're getting with it so i'm going to tell you guys all about that as we get the interviews going so i have two set up this week and more coming up okay so in the meantime let's get down to brass tacks right so this is your ozone. Those of you guys ordered the first 10, right? So first thing first is you notice there's a plug. Not complicated, right? We all know how to plug something in. My international folks got to get a, um, a, a plug to, for the adapter, right? It's not, not a big deal. And then you just plug it in. <laughs> That's it, right? Plug it in. That's it. So I'm going to take it off so I can talk to you because I don't have somebody to actually do the video for me. So I'm going to have to kind of like do this, you know, this is the way it goes. So, okay. So first things first is you're going to notice um, knobs on here, right? And so what you have to do is there is two tubing packages, right? So there is a clear, right? And then there is a not clear we call it milky white it's opaque whatever but milky white and clear right now you notice i've been using mine <laughs> it's discolored wow what's that about well ozone remember it's three oxygen molecules bound together and it's super strong so what happens it it will disintegrate everything that it is constantly exposed to so when you use a lot of it, this actually I changed because it really was gross. <laughs> it had discolored even worse than this, right? So, so it will try to disintegrate. Now, if you use a clear plastic with the ozone, it will completely disintegrate it in a very short time. So we use the milky white tubing, which lasts much longer. It's a silicone tubing, 
okay? So it will discolor it, which is me just doing this job. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna do that in your body. It's going to get rid of the things that don't belong in your body. So that's the cool part, right? Okay, so first things first, you have to know that when you put everything down, you keep, take, you're gonna get a big long tubing in your package, right? And you're gonna get an extra tubing. <laughs> Long story short, you're gonna have plenty of tubing for a long time. Um, they put extra tubing in for you. It's okay. It's not gonna hurt anything. So you're going to cut off about, I don't know, what is that, three, four inches or so? Enough to make a, a bridge. This is what you're going to do. You need a bridge, okay? And this is for this particular model. So about three, four inches or so. Um, and then when you have your machine, you're going to take the two no, um, nozzles, I don't know what you call them, in the middle, and you're going to create a bridge. I will one day have a real video on this to show you, but in the meantime, we just do it like so. Okay, so tubing, see, right? Simple, okay? Okay, so then you're going to take the clear tubing and this is where you guys are challenged a little bit with the oxygen tank don't be challenged it's all good it's really easy now things have changed law wise when i started this seven years ago we would just stick it into the oxygen concentrator and then um, put it in the machine and then just go directly into whatever we want to do whether it's rectal encephalation vaginal encephalation ear um, but Unfortunately, people tend to get crazy and do too much at one time, and that is not a good idea. So there have been some damages because they were too forceful. Not the machine, not the ozone, it's the people jamming things in their ears. You don't want to know. It's so, so we have to do a bag system now, which I don't have. I don't use it because I know my body and I choose not to but you, my friends, will get a little ozone bag. So, first things first, you put this into your oxygen tank, right? And I know a lot of you guys don't have it yet, um, but make sure you get that and get it filled. And so you're going to stick it in the um, o uh, oxygen regulator and you just stick it on there. It's very easy into the, into the knob. And then you're going to set your dial. Um, typically, we do it at one fourth, one eighth, um, flow it just regulates the flow of oxygen that's all it is so there's a little black knob at the end you just adjust it you're good to go right and then on here on the machine you're going to put oxygen it says oxygen in it's pretty simple right so you have this to the oxygen tank and then the other one to the ozone generator. Again, I use a different system because I've had mine for seven years, okay? Um, okay, and then I don't have a video camera guy. Anybody in Florida want to do camera work for me? <laughs> That's what I really need. Okay, this then goes into the, the, the nozzle. We'll call them nozzle, That's easy. That says ozone out, right? Okay, super simple. Now. This here, again, by law, I cannot tell you to use it. I do, um, but I cannot tell you by law to do that because it's it when it goes in your ear, it's loud, and some people are complaining that's affecting their hearing. Well, then, yeah, if you do it like you know, 15 minutes every day, that's too much. You do it just once or twice a week for like five minutes, right? But so what we have for you is a syringe. In the syringe, you fill it, and then you're just going to go very slowly into your ears. And then again, you fill it and you go very slowly in your ear and that's it. And it'll go down your eustachian tube and then help for everything in your head and neck area. Very cool. But I happen to use this once I put it on and then I let it run. Stethoscope. You can purchase these, um, but they are going to be noisy. So you might not want to do that. Okay. So then, um, oh wait, then I like this. <laughs> I'm doing my... Let's appear, let's disappear. Um, the stone, right? So the stone is very simple to do because what you're going to do, let me switch my tubing around. This is for ozonating water. So let me walk you guys through. 
Okay. So I have my ozone tubing. Okay. And I just put this here nozzle tip into the tubing. Yeah. Pretty simple. Okay. And then you're going to put it in your water. Yeah, you want it covered, okay? And then you let it run. You put your, your ozone, uh, your oxygen on, and then you turn on your ozone machine. Now, on the ozone machine, there's, there's some knobs, right? Um, just put it on the lowest setting for right now, okay? So, on the, on the yeah, it's going to be too hard for me to lift up, but there's a, a little black knob, and you just want it on the lowest setting all the way to the left, okay? And then you turn the machine on and that's your ozone generator going and that's it. So oxygen is turned on. You set it to a low flow setting, like one eighth, let's say, flow. And then as it's coming in, then you are going to turn your ozone generator on. Oh yeah, don't forget to turn your oxygen tank on. Super easy. Okay, so then let's just walk through this. You're going to um, ozonate your water five minutes. Okay, five minutes. And then you let it sit there because what happens, put this over here, what happens is that the gas of the ozone sits on top here. So if you try to drink it right away, and I have actually done this to people, I felt really bad because I didn't know that they had um, lung issues. And so what happened was they drank it too fast and then it irritated their lungs and they were coughing a lot. It's not harming anything, but it's irritating to the lungs because it's just simply too much oxygen at one time. And the lungs are like, hey, it's too much, too much, too much. And it tries to get rid of it, right? So that's it. You just ozonate it for five minutes. Let it sit for a minute to let that gas go away. And then you drink it down. It only lasts 20 minutes about. That's it. You cannot make it and have it for the whole day. It's not like that, okay? They use it in, in water municipalities to get rid of the toxins in there, but then they have filtration systems in there. We want to get that ozone into our system. And you could do that five, six, seven times a day. It's not a problem. Okay, then let's talk about the catheter. Um, this is for rectal and vaginal insufflations. And yeah, they're like super long. <laughs> Why it's super long, I don't know. And you might get ones that are shorter. I'm hoping you guys get the shorter version. But again, you just, there's there's the, the tip. You put your uh, tubing in, in there, that's it. And then, and then you put um, a little bit of olive oil on the end or coconut oil, whatever, and insert it just that much, right? That's it, okay. And you let it run for five minutes, yeah. Now, I do direct in uh, vaginally and rectally, but by law, I have to tell you that typically what you have to do is you have to fill up your ozone bag and then squeeze it with the tubing so that it goes through the catheter. So you have an extra step there, right? So you squeeze it, you're rolling that bag and squeezing it and getting the, the ozone. So. That's it. Now here's the deal. I want to talk with you guys because this oxygen tank um, can be a little bit of a challenge for some of you guys. So if you have any, any questions about the oxygen tank, I've sent you guys a link. I've sent you a link of a couple of um, different tanks that you could get. Go get them, go order them on Amazon. Um, make sure that you get it filled. You go to the welding supply company. Um, you go to air gas, Harbor Freight. There's quite a few of them. Uh, my international friends are having a little bit of a challenge, but we'll work through them, not a problem. But just go in and just tell them, hey, I just want my tank filled. And that's it. Don't say anything medically at all, you know, because then they'll say, well, you need a prescription. So don't go there, right? So don't get excited. Just get your tank ordered. Your regulator, the piece that goes on top of the oxygen tank, comes with your kit. You do not have to buy that. Okay, the tubing and the extra tubing and the stuff to make the water, the stuff to put for bagging on your limbs, all comes with your kit. All right, so don't have, you don't have to worry about anything else at this point, just your oxygen tank and getting that thing filled. Get it filled, my friends, so we can get going on this, okay? And then in the meantime, 
um, there has been some issues with you guys not doing your detox. And so here's the deal. I just got off the phone with one of the world's most famous ozone guy. I mean, wait till you see that interview. It's pretty awesome. Um, and he said, don't complain. If you're, if you're going to do this at home, you have got to do something about getting your detox going, right? So that could be as simple as just at least clean out your liver and colon. Go get some colonics done. Go do a three-day liver cleanse. At least do that, okay? Because if you don't, you really will get the Herxmeyer effect and you're not going to feel good. And you're going to call me and say, this ozone doesn't work and I want my money back and this is not working. I'm like, okay, first of all, there's a lifetime warranty on the machine for parts and any manufacturing issues. You can't return this though, people, because there's a hygienic issue with this, right? So I told you guys all that, but here's the deal. You're giving up, because I had a bunch that did that, and I'm like, what is wrong with you guys? And I, and I figured it out. They didn't know that they had to really do the detox. So then some of you guys got discouraged, and you're like, Ugh, why <laughs> am I getting these reactions? I'm supposed to get better. That's because you haven't done the detox on any level. So let's get it down to simple. All right, so go for, okay, so most of you, I don't think anybody has their equipment set up completely yet. So while you're waiting, eat light. No meats, no dairies, no nothing. Just have vegetables, vegetable soup, your juices, um, your soups. You could have, you could have fish, you could have uh, chicken, but no red meat, right? And just do that for until you get your, your equipment. That'll be maybe like just another few days. And then, and then do a colon liver cleanse for three days, right? It's all in your seven day detox package. Just, just all you have to do is click on it where it says liver detox. Call, I couldn't make this any easier, right? If you're lost, call me, text me, email me. I'll answer you guys. But get on there and just do a, at least a three day colon liver detox. And then when you do the ozone, you're going to feel a thousand times better. Nothing will back up. You won't have uh, hardly any cramping. I mean, nobody who does my detox gets the cramping. They just don't because they follow instructions. But make sure you follow your instructions. Okay. So it's that easy. And then, um, then as you're doing the ozone, make sure, make sure that um, you switch it up. And again, I have this all in the masterclass. So what that means is, Monday, you do the ears. Tuesday, you do bagging. Um, Wednesday, you do well, water you could do every day. Um, Thursday, you do rectal encephalation. And if you're a woman, you could do vaginal encephalation. So switch it up, right? You don't have to do a lot. Ozone is very, very strong. Five minutes of this is all you need, peeps. Five minutes, okay? So whether it's rectal encephalation, vaginal, um, the ears, the well, the bagging on the limbs, that's going to take longer because getting through the skin, that takes longer. So the tip on that is take a hot shower first, opens up all your pores, and when you put the, the bag on your limbs, then what happens is it soaks in immediately, but it still takes a little bit. So, you know, once a week, 45 minutes. That's it, you know, on your legs or on your arms, right? It's that simple. So that's it, right? I'm, I'm trying to go through all the pieces that you guys have been complaining or worried about or frustrated with. First of all, stay calm. I'm here with you. I want to walk you through. My team backs me up. We've already had issues come up and we've taken care of it right away. Not a big deal. Just stay calm because if you get excited, what happens? Changes your pH and now you become more acid and that makes your inflammation worse and it brings your immune system down. So just say, oh, I can't figure this out. Let me call Judy, <laughs> okay? That's all you gotta do, right? Or email me and I'll, and I'll walk you through. So don't worry that if you can't figure something out, I'll just make sure that you do. People, by far, out of any therapy in the world, this one is going to help you the most. And I want you guys to get using it just like you brush your teeth every day. What does that take? right? A couple minutes, it's nothing, right? Or a quick shower or, you know, whatever it takes. It's super, super easy. Okay, guys. So watch the video again. If you have questions, give me a jingle, but you see that it just set it up. It's not complicated. At, just like anything new, we have to learn it. Once it's set up, you're like, 
no big deal. And then you get the results that you want. Okay, guys, we'll catch you later and keep you informed. Bye.